Welcome to our podcast, where we cover unique and interesting stories for you. In this episode, we will discuss scientists creating the first 3D printed brain tissue that works like the human brain. In a path-breaking scientific endeavor, researchers have created the world's first 3D printed brain tissue that behaves like a natural brain tissue. This is being considered a major leap towards the development of advanced solutions to neurological and neurodevelopmental disorders. This will greatly aid research programs for scientists, specially focused on treatments for a broad range of neurological and neurodevelopmental disorders, such as Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease. This could be a hugely powerful model to help us understand how brain cells and parts of the brain communicate in humans. Su Chun Zhang, professor of neuroscience and neurology at UW Madison's Weizmann Center, was quoted as saying by neuroscience, it could change the way we look at stem cell biology, neuroscience, and the pathogenesis of many neurological and psychiatric disorders, he added. The 3D printer employed by scientists here ditched the traditional approach in favor of stacking layers horizontally. They situated brain cells, neurons grown from induced pluripotent stem cells, in a softer bio-ink gel than previous attempts had employed. The tissue still has enough structure to hold together, but it is soft enough to allow the neurons to grow into each other and start talking to each other, Zhang added. Yuanwei Yan, a scientist in Zhang's lab, said the tissues stayed relatively thin, which allowed the neurons to easily access oxygen and enough nutrients from the growth media. The neurons communicate with each other, send signals, and interact through neurotransmitters, and even form proper networks with support cells that were added to the printed tissue. We printed the cerebral cortex and the striatum, and what we found was quite striking, Zhang said. Even when we printed different cells belonging to different parts of the brain, they were still able to talk to each other in a very special and specific way, he added. As per experts, the printing technique offers an advanced level of precision not seen in other approaches, including brain organoids, miniature organs used to study brains. The technique offers control over the types as well as arrangements of cells, with proper organization and control. This provides scientists with flexibility in their research endeavors, which paves the way for radical advancements in the field. That's all from this podcast. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to subscribe and share your thoughts in the comments. Stay connected for more exciting discussions and updates in our next podcast.